What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Full Throttle Drive. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. So obviously we have all been so excited as GM has officially announced the unveiling date of July 18th, 2019 for the upcoming C8 mid-engine Corvette. We're just all so very excited and we've been getting lots of tidbits of information since then and we've been covering it quite heavily. And just yesterday we got something very cool and that is the first release teaser video over the upcoming C8 mid-engine Corvette and they did a little 30 second clip and it's very neat, very tasteful, kind of does this build up of the upcoming new Corvette and I think you guys will enjoy it. So I'm going to show it to you guys here really quickly and then we will talk about it, break down everything. Um, you guys will see some images that I kind of took that were still from the videos uh, that I kind of stopped and paused because the video just happens so quickly. So let's go ahead and watch it and then we will break down the video. If you sit back fast, all right. Let's go. So what you just watched is the official teaser video given by GM for the upcoming Corvette and I thought it was really cool. You know, a lot happens in that 30 seconds so I wanted to break it down with you guys and kind of talk about what we see in the video, maybe make a little speculation at some of the kind of times that they've put in. Um, as you can see, it kind of has some sort of racing lap reference um, with the time changing and eventually getting to that 7 18, 19. and you know that's the unveiling date of of July 18th, 2019. But it's pretty interesting because we see a lot happen in this video and we get a lot of snapshots of some of the older kind of prototypes and obviously several other Corvettes that we've seen of past. And it just is all built around a racing theme. It's got some very cool music that goes along with it. But a lot, as I said, happened. And so I wanted to slow down and break up a few of the images that we see. So obviously the video starts out with Corvette and then an individual that is actually getting down into the race seat. We then see some sort of shuttle launch as well as a F-22 Raptor flying through the air. And then we see tons of tidbits from the Corvette lineup from the past. And honestly, it's crazy that as you start to pause the video, because again, so much happens so quickly, it's a very fast paced little video clip that you miss a lot of the intricate details. So that's why I wanted to break this video down and see what all we can kind of pull and infer from this video. One of the first images that you're going to see here is actually a image that was just for a split second. It was actually pretty hard to pause it, but what you're gonna see is the GS2 Corvette. And this was actually an experimental race car that was developed by Chevrolet in the 60s. And it's pretty neat. It's kind of a throwback to what they had um, way back then. And it actually looks pretty neat. It's got a very, very interesting look to it. But uh, obviously, one thing you'll notice is that it's a mid-engine prototype. Uh, it has the engine behind the driver and passenger, much like the anticipated C8 mid-engine Corvette. So a very cool, neat feature for this video. The next next image that we're going to take a look at actually happened for a split second as well, and that's the 1978 Aerovet. And a lot of you may not be familiar with it, but this is a concept car that was actually killed off by Chevrolet back in the 70s. They were wanting to build some sort of mid-engine Corvette at the time, and so they built this, and it actually had a lot of praise at the time. However, the Nissan 280Z was doing very well, and it was killing the Corvette lineup. So Chevrolet decided not to change with what they were doing and stick with a front engine design and just continue with what had worked in the past. We then are going to take a look at a few more images. One that pops up is actually the racing variations of the C7R. Uh, very, very cool. It's got two of them neck and neck kind of coming into a finish line. Uh, then we see another old school racing car built by Chevrolet. We see it again kind of coming around a track. But one thing you're going to notice is that there's kind of time markers. And as you watch the video, as I said, you kind of saw a time building up. And it eventually reaches that 718. 19. 
And this is where I think a lot of cool speculation builds up and we're gonna talk about a theory that's kind of going around the forums as to why we have this date as the reveal date as well as why this seems to be so in particular with a racing time. The next image that we're going to take a look at actually is very interesting. It's a cut scene taken that is showing the engine, what we believe to be coming up on the new C8 mid-engine Corvette. And this has a lot of people baffled. I saw on the forums that a lot of people are wondering what's going on in this image, which is interesting. I'm not really mechanically savvy, and so I'm not too sure what's going on here, but a lot of them are questioning as to what type of motor would actually take place in this image. So it was kind of interesting to see that. I will probably end up making a video kind of furthermore talking about this when I do get some more information on it. If any of you guys are seeing this, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are you seeing in this image as far as what type of engine we may see here? We then see a couple images of the C8 Corvette going around the track. Again, there's a time given to those. And then one of the coolest, neat features that I saw in this video was some of the sketches done of the C8 Corvette. This is probably when it was first in its infancy as they were trying to just sketch out what the car may look like. And this again, very split second. You guys may not have actually seen it in the first go around. If you do want to actually watch the video, I will play it at the end of this video so you don't have to go back to the, to the beginning. You will see it towards the end of the video as well but a very very neat addition to the video seeing these little sketches and kind of an overall layout of the new Corvette. Now obviously you can tell from the pace of this video and how it ends what it's all building up to. We have the past and then we're coming to the present and the video ends with the C8 Corvette still in camouflage but flying past the finish line and obviously ends at that 718.19. And obviously we have the date, that's the unveiling date of July 18th, 2019, but could it mean more? And this is kind of where the speculation on the forums has gone ahead and dipped in. And a lot of people are inferring that with this type of video that GM is hinting at a lap time. And of course that would probably be of the famous Nürburgring lap time. And seven minutes, 18 seconds and some change would be very, very respectable for this time. To give you a little perspective on that, that would be in the lap time comparison of the GT3, the Porsche 911 Turbo S in that family range, which are very, very quick cars. And of course, this being the base C8 Corvette with what we believe to be maybe 500 to 520 horsepower. So that would be a very respectable figure. And it honestly would show the improvement of changing the design layout, just how much better the handling would be on the upcoming Corvette through that lap time. It would be leaps and bounds over what the C7 Z51 was capable of the, at the ring. And so very, very interesting and a pretty cool theory. I'm kind of curious as to what you guys think. I'm sure a lot of people think that that will not be the time. They think that's a little too quick, but honestly, I could see it being the case. As I've told you guys, this is gonna be a whole new Corvette with a much better handling capability with the change in design layout and where that weight proceeds in the car. So time will only tell as to whether this is a true statement or not as far as the ring time, but very cool. And I think we can all agree that it's a very neat video that Chevrolet has put out for the upcoming C8 mid-engine Corvette. One thing I will mention though is there's another small bit of speculation out there. And again, this is pure speculation and I'm not a mechanically intuitive person, but some people on the forums that are very good mechanically, that know a lot of stuff, hinted at something they noticed in the video and we hear several gear shift changes. And a lot of them said that it did not sound like the dual clutch that we know will be coming up on the C8 Corvette and that they may be hearing some sort of manual transmission. And that's very interesting because as we said, we know there's a patent out there pending for a manual fly-by-wire system for the upcoming C8 Corvette. It just may not be debut at day one for the upcoming Corvette. But nonetheless, if we've heard it, if we know it's a possibility, that will get a lot of things stirring because I know a lot of you guys are really interested in getting the Corvette. You just are not sold on the dual clutch. You'd like to stick with a manual, which I would as well. I think a manual on the C8 Corvette would be incredible, but the dual clutch will also be blazingly fast and can do a lot of wonders for your track times. So as I said, 
Only time will tell as to whether these predictions have any plausibility behind them. But I think this video amps us up even more and we're so excited for the revealing date in July. It's gonna be so great. And I'm gonna to continue to follow all of the latest news and share it with you guys on the channel. If you are new to the channel and unaware, I am going to be purchasing a C8 mid-engine Corvette to share with you guys. Um, I'm very, very excited and I'm waiting for my allocation spot. I'm going to be videoing all of this. I'm going to share the whole process with everybody. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then when I do get the C8 Corvette, I will get to make tons of cool content and share it with you all. But everyone that actually takes care of it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please support my channel, hit that like button again, subscribe if you're new and you all take care. And as always, we'll see you next video. If you will sit back fast, all right. Let's go.